Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Ordinary World. So, Ordinary World stars Bill Joe Armstrong, and what this film is about. It's about this guy who used to be a punk rock star back in the 1990s, and 20 years later, you know, he's kind of cleaned up, and he's now a husband and um, a father, and, you know, when no one... Today is his 40th birthday, and no one remembers his birthday, so what he tries to do is kind of let loose, be like the old punk rock star he used to be, and just everything just kind of just falls, com fails completely. So, what did I think of Ordinary World? Now, um, I didn't really have too much of expectations going into Ordinary World. The only reason I really wanted to see it is because uh, Billy Joe Armstrong is in the film. And I'm a huge fan of Billy Joe Armstrong. You know, he's the lead singer of Green Day, my second favorite band. So, that was really the main, my main motivation to watch this movie was because of him. And I wanted to see how he would do in his first lead role. Now, as for the movie itself, I mean, it's alright. It's fine. It's not bad by any means, but I will say this. It's kind of just a mediocre and kind of generic and predictable and forgettable movie, to be honest. So, yeah. So, let's get into my positives with Ordinary World, because I do have some positives with Ordinary World. And first being, um... I thought um, Bill Joe Armstrong was really good in the movie. I did really enjoy his character. He was by far the best actor in the entire film, actually. And he was really enjoyable. I liked his character, Perry. He did a very good job with that character. He bought a lot of wit and charisma to that character. And he was very good. I actually really enjoyed him in the movie. Now, as for the rest of the acting, I will say it's not bad or it's not necessarily good, kind of. I will say it's passable. It's passable. It gets you through the movie. You know, it's not necessarily, like, the best acting, but it at least gets you through the movie and you're not feeling like, oh, this is awful or anything, so yeah. Um, th the movie is supposed to be a comedy, and I do think the movie does have some funny moments. There were some moments that I was like, okay, that was funny. There were just some during the movie, you know, and there were some funny moments. I did really enjoy those moments. Um, next being the soundtrack. The soundtrack was really good with Ordinary World. I thought the soundtrack was really good as well. You know, um, Billy Joe Armstrong did a few original songs for the movie, and one of those songs was, well, the title track, Ordinary World, which is actually the last track on Green Day's latest album, Revolutionary Radio, and that song was written for this movie, and I definitely do think that was a great song, and just overall, the soundtrack was really great as well. I did really enjoy the music in this movie, and definitely fit with the tone of the film in my eyes. And lastly, I did think the directing was really good, to be honest. I did think the directing was pretty good with the film. I thought it was very ni nicely shot in my eyes. I did think it had some very good directing. So, let's get into my negatives with the film, because I do have a lot of negatives with the film. And first being, um, I thought the characters themselves, except for Billy Joe Armstrong's character, Perry, I thought the rest of the characters were just kind of just... meh. Like, they're just kind of just generic, boring, and just like, oh, just characters need to be thrown into the movie. They're not really developed all that much, to be honest. Like, they hardly have any development to them whatsoever. Bojo Armstrong is really the only character in this movie that has somewhat any of the, any development. The rest of the characters in this film have no development whatsoever, and I could care less about any of them, to be honest. Like, Perry was the only character I cared about in this entire film. Like, the other characters could care less. The comedy, the comedy really does not work in this movie. It just comes off as awkward. Like, it's not necessarily bad, it just comes off as awkward. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I'm supposed to be laughing at this, but I'm just not. And the main objective of a comedy, what is it supposed to do? Make you laugh. Did I laugh? At some points, but for the majority, I, I didn't laugh. Like, it was really bad, the comedy at points with this. I, I, did, I wouldn't say really bad, but I will say there were some moments where it was like, eh, like, it just was awkward for the most part. That's the thing I could really say. It's really awkward, the comedy. Um, The story itself, eh, it's kind of just a typical, like, 
you know, old aging man, midlife crisis story, really. It's kind of generic and kind of just formulaic, and it's very predictable. That's another thing. The story is really predictable. Like, seriously, I saw what... From the moment I saw a certain something in this movie, I knew what the entire movie was going from there. And I hate that with movies. I hate it when I can predict almost the entire film. I like to see unexpected things in the film, but literally, once a movie goes, once this movie goes into a certain direction, I'm like, I know exactly where this is going. And I hate that. So yeah, that's another thing. It's very predictable, and I hated that. And so yeah, and like I said, the story is just very just bland and generic. The writing's just not that great as well. I didn't really think the movie had that great of writing. And lastly, the direct, not, not the directing, the pacing, I meant to say. The pacing was honestly really slow. Like, it moved at a snail's pace. This movie was an hour and 27 minutes, and like I said, it moved at a snail's pace, really. It, it, because I was just so bored. It was so uninteresting, this movie. It was just a very uninteresting film. That's, that's the biggest problem. It was so uninteresting and so boring and so dull. So overall, guys, I think Ordinary World, like I said, it's just a very forgettable movie. It's like one of those movies you just see on Netflix and you're just like, eh, I might watch that. It's one of those movies. And uh, to be honest with you, if Billy Joe Armstrong didn't star in this movie, I think I would, wouldn't have any interest in seeing this film. But I saw it and it wasn't that great. So aside from my official grade on Ordinary World, my official grade on Ordinary World is a C-. minus. It wasn't that great of a film. It could have been so much better. If it had more character development and a much better story, I think it could have been a really good movie. But like I said, those are the main things that really fault this movie. Very bad character development. Like a very generic and bland story. Like very, very predictable. So yeah, if... if they just improved on those things. I think the movie could have been really good, but it didn't, and it just ended up just being a mediocre film. So, what did you guys think of Ordinary World? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 599 and we'll see you out later. Peace.